vlog um so today's thursday i thought there was no real point actually recording monday tuesday because there's just really a lot of computer stuff going on and editing and blah 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 so nothing too exciting happens during the start of the week uh, but today um i got another commission to do that i got it during the week um so it's for another wildcat so the customer wanted these blue eyes, can't really see it, um, in the head, so I'll be casting that in um, uh, the eyes in the resin. And then um, I have some doll bodies that I need to start working on as well, so there's only two here. Um, and I do actually want to get my uh, dragons actually painted, so it's really roughly painted in but you can see it's getting there i just need to add a couple more details to it and some eyes and stuff like that uh so i hope to get them done soon they're almost done but um we're getting there we're getting there we'll see how it goes oh yeah i also wanted to mention that i'm working on another sticker set it is for a fox collection that i'm working on it's for a fox one of my original foxes that I made when I started Creatures of Nut, um, but I won't tell you which one it is. But it is for one of my original foxes. Um, there's going to be like a whole different uh, thing of artwork relating to that fox. So I'll just quickly show you what I'm working on. Um, just a sticker set. And um, it's going to be a five sticker set. It'll be die cut. Um, I'm thinking die cut rather than a uh, sticker sheet because I kind of like the look of die cut a bit more than a sticker sheet but um, yeah so I've been working on that so hopefully after the commission and these two dolls are done I can sort of focus on that collection um, and I'm also going to do another collection uh, of a galaxy inspired thing so if you watched my vlogs a few vlogs back um, you'll see that I made some die cut stickers of some watercolored um, uh, space creatures that I did a while ago so I made them into tie cut stickers and <clears throat> I did some like test prints and cuts and stuff which worked really well and then the Cricut, Cricut software is playing up and then uh, I want to have like a collection of four watercolors again uh, for sale when I release those sticker sets so hopefully the Cricut software has sorted itself out I haven't checked for a little while so so anyway I'm gonna get to work and I'll catch up with you soon. parts for um my other uh, wildcat commission so i have my eyes here um uh, i have to find the mold now usually with any leftover resin what i do is i have some smaller molds handy and i actually 
pour some extras so um, that way there's no resin that has been wasted and you're halfway through getting another doll done so uh, I have two feet ready to go because I used some of my extra resin and I what did I do cast them so I need two more feet so all I need to do is cast two feet and I need to cast the head as well and again I have a tutorial in my shop on how to cast these glass eyes inside of a resin head so that's creaturesofnat.com and you can head there and you will find um, five tutorials one will be casting glass eyes and two will be s simple silicon mold making and the other one is just simple resin casting so head there if you're interested in that otherwise I'm gonna get casting so don't need this one <laughs> some white fur so luckily I have a lot of white fur in my stash um, so I'm gonna get it out and have that ready to cut all the pieces out um, so yeah while this is curing hopefully by the time I find it and get it out this resin would have been cured and I can pour the final bit of the resin um, and that way I'll be done so I don't really like hanging around here too much because I find it so draining. Hi guys, uh, I'm just going to show you what I did today. I got a lot done. Uh, so first off, I did some painting. Uh, I'm almost done with them, but um, need a few more details and stuff. But I've almost done painting all of my dragon heads, so I didn't really like the colour of the horns. Um, they're a bit too like orangey or something, so I repainted them, uh, which I'm pretty happy with them. They're not finished yet because I need to add some more black in the creases and stuff and just give it more dimension. I also painted in the eyes. Um, so I might add a few more things, I'm not too sure just yet. Uh, so that's the first one. It's not finished yet, it's still got um, a couple more details to add and actually a lot more to add. Uh, and that's Drogon. Uh, also painted in the eyes. Colours turning out really well. Painted up the horns as well. Um, and then we have Ragel. So, painted up the eyes as well. Um, this one needs a bit more work too, because I'm not really happy with the way it's sort of the colour is spread out there. So, I'll do a little bit more work on him, I think. Um, and i got to fix up the colour of the teeth and stuff. So, hopefully I'll have that finished very soon, and then I can release that. Um, and then each comes with... Um, not comes but is also available uh, the three different dragon claws and they are necklaces uh, so I plan to release them in the coming week or two and what else did I do I did a little watercolor today and I used different watercolors so I use these koi watercolors which I thought um, I got them for my birthday and they're really, really cool. Um, so they're in a palette and they're really good quality and you don't need much paint to actually get a good um, colour to them. Um, usually I use the Cotman Winsor & Newton um, and they're in a tube, which I, I like, but um, yeah, after using this palette, I really like that palette. Uh, so I painted up a nice galaxy watercolour, so I want to do, like I said before, uh, four different um, space prints or watercolours to release with my sticker set. So that's the first one, and this is different sort of paper. It is sort of a recycled paper, but um, 
I don't know where it's from. I got a whole bunch of paper for, I don't know, Christmas I think it was. And it's got like a rough sort of texture on it. Um, and it does look recycled and it sort of looks like cotton to me. So I don't know much detail about it, but it is quite nice paper. So that's the first one. And then in terms of dolls, um, I've got a body, a bare body. I'm just waiting for some things to dry before I can actually put it together. But I'm slowly putting together my next fox, which I really like the colouring so far. I'm really digging it. Um, it's a bit twisted here. What are we doing? Where are we? You'll, you'll see it better once I, you know, put the body together and stuff. So that's what we have so far and um, yeah I can start putting it together tomorrow and my battery is going flat I can see so I'll probably have to sign off here but I will catch up with you tomorrow. <laughs> for me. I've uh, got to manage to get a fair bit done today. Um, I've almost finished my dragon heads so um, I'll give you a look at one uh, and then you can wait. Uh, so this is the first one. It's almost done. Um, I think really the only thing I have to do is just varnish the whole thing. I might put another layer of gloss on the eye um, and then maybe like tiny little bits and pieces but Nothing too major, so they're pretty much done now. Um, you're going to have to wait to see the next two. But I'm going to take some photos of them once all of the um, uh, medium has been dried. Um, so I've got a MAC medium and I've got um, a matte varnish, both Liquitex. So I'm going to be using the matte varnish. And you've got to be careful with that because sometimes it can go a bit shiny. So go figure. Um, so they're almost done um, and I've got my white fur for the commission ready to go. I've got my parts all cast. So as you saw before, my parts are all cast. Um, and then I have coming up finishing the fox doll. So it looks like a big fluff right now, but uh, it will definitely need a trim. So I've sewn it all up today, glued it all together. So. Next step is trimming, furring, and that's pretty much it. And then he'll be done. So, not sure when I'll list him, um, but you can um, check out and keep an eye on my social media pages. They're on Instagram at Creatures of Nat and also Facebook at Creatures of Nat. So, um, when I list him, he'll be on my website, which is uh, creaturesofnat.com. But I'll let everybody know on my socials before I list him and when I will. So keep an eye out then. And I think that's it for me today. Uh, I'm going to edit this vlog and hopefully have it up to you next week. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.